Hi, today again I am bringing a new video for my subscribers. First of all, as an ENT surgeon, I come across many patients asking me about tonsil. So what is tonsil? So tonsil is a great anxiety for many patients when it is being diagnosed. Or even before it is being diagnosed, patients diagnose it by themselves. So what exactly is tonsil? When you open your mouth, on each side of your tongue, a little behind, uh, near your uvula, you find two out, say two structures, globular structures, rather rounded structures, protruding into the middle of the oral cavity, middle of the mouth. So they are the tone cells. So what exactly are they? They are nothing but lymphoid tissue collections just under the mucous membrane that is the thin slimy soft skin layer of the oral cavity okay so what is their function their functions are related to the immunity of a person immune defense mechanism of a person mainly with the lymphatic system and it produces a lot of lymphocytes and these lymphocytes directly come in contact with whatever microorganisms which are coming into the throat along with food or during inhalation or during eating anything or from our bread. When they come into contact with the mucous membrane lining, then they are being taken up inside our body and these lymphoid tissues try to create uh, defense mechanisms. They are called as some, uh, say, we have got lymph lymphocyte B and T lymphocytes and they create humoral and uh, cellular immunity. Humoral means they produce certain uh, immunoglobulins and uh, many other uh, chemicals which are used for the defense mechanism to kill microorganisms like bacteria, virus and so on and so forth. So the uh, immune mechanism are stimulated at the same time they are created so that they can produce our defense mechanism against all these uh, microorganisms. At the same time there are certain uh, say allergic particles may be coming in the uh, food or in the inhalation and these also they stimulate certain changes in the lymphoid tissues. So these lymphoid tissues becomes active and uh, they proliferate and they become bigger. So it is not something which we should be very much afraid about. So when Patients come to me, when patient, even the patient party, especially children, their parents when they come to me, they say, Doctor, uh, we have got tonsil. Huh? So please see, so what to do with this tonsil? Uh, some, we have gone to some doctor, they said that it is to be cut. One thing I want to tell you is that tonsil is also useful to our body for our defense mechanism. So we don't need to cut the tonsil all the time. When there is inflammation in the tonsil, when there is a lot of infection in the tonsil causing white patches and uh, inflamed tonsil, we can give medications. If it recurs again and again, later on causing a lot of you know, uh, residual infections, even after controlling one infection, again it comes back in scores. Then only then we will, we will need to you know, cut it. That is in a very, very rare, rare condition nowadays. Let me tell you the situation. I have been practicing ENT for the last about 30 years. And in my 30 years of practice as ENT surgeon, in the beginning I used to cut a lot of tonsils and during those days, cutting tonsils were very ordinary. It was a very, you know, routine thing. But nowadays, for the last about 10 years, I have not cut any tonsil. The reason behind is that 
I am not seeing patients, rather I am seeing more patients. But we are trying to reduce the number of tonsillectomies nowadays. Unless it is very much needed, we don't cut. Of course, we have done some few, very few tonsillectomies and this has been done mainly to train my junior uh, consultants and junior staffs. And uh, frankly speaking, tonsil as such cutting should be the last resort for treatment of tonsils. So, mind you, any person who is having enlarged tonsil uh, should not be, you know, afraid of being exposed to a surgery or being uh, advised surgery. And before that, we have so many options to be done. Now, regarding tonsil, uh, what exactly is tonsil? Tonsil comes from a word called tonsilla. Tonsilla is just a boring pause in the, you know, in the seaside. When the seashore is very flayed and ocean also very flayed, but we find this boring pause where these boats are being tied. These are called as tonsilla in Latin. So that much prominent it is in the seaside, in a sea beach. Just like that, our tonsils are very very prominent in our oral cavity and uh, so the name came like that. But one thing another I want to tell you is that tonsils are just like your, you know, your pet dog. In any, it's a normal pet dog in any uh, family. The dogs used to bark when uh, the owner comes also, it will bark. When anybody which, uh, whom he doesn't know also, it will bark. So, you know, it's something like, um, tonsil is something like that. It reacts to whatever things which comes in, any irritant in the throat. So, any irritation causing some reaction in the tonsil. That increases the tonsil size. So, especially in the children, it is a natural phenomenon because our immune mechanisms are being built up. So, enlargement of the tonsil in children is very common especially in allergic children this is more common so we have to treat allergy mainly first and then any other infection because nowadays we have got a lot of very effective medications effective antibiotics so number of surgeries should be reduced as much as practicable yes there are some conditions where child has got uh, more breathing all blocked nose in those cases also we should try to reduce the uh, inflammation like say caused by allergy first then give some prolonged medication aim that allergy most of the time these children are having this sort of uh, tonsillar enlargement uh, because of allergy and uh, in the second cause is only infection infection cannot keep on staying for a long time especially in a healthy healthy child or healthy healthy patient so that is the condition so tonsil as such, we don't need to cut all the time. This I want everyone to know. And when tonsil is enlarged, you should not be very much afraid about unless it causes breathing difficulty and a child usually breathes by opening the mouth, nose being blocked. And that is the condition where you have to come to the doctor for treatment. There also not by surgery all the time. Surgery should be the last resort. Okay? And especially an adult adult person who never had any tonsil problem in the childhood now starting enlargement of the tonsil that is unilateral only one side then you have to consult the doctor because there may be something else otherwise tonsil infections coming in the adult enlargement on both sides it can be something else it may not be that much sinister also so first of all we should always find out different you know causes of enlargement of the tonsil and we should not be very much anxious about tonsil being enlarged unless you are having severe fever according to tonsil a lot of uh, difficulty because of sore throat painful deglutition painful swallowing only then you have to approach a doctor for treatment this was for today so thank you so from tomorrow onwards i think you won't be very much afraid about an enlarged tonsil right okay see you bye bye